Hello. The past couple of years, we've all had to learn a new skill. And I'm of course referring to prompting because we don't get that far when it comes to interacting with AI tools unless we have really good prompting. The more specific, the better we explain our problems and our objectives, the more likely the AI is to provide what we want, especially when it comes to, to development with AI. I can get quite fatigued from this constant prompting, typing a lot of messages back and forth. Sometimes the AI just keeps making mistakes. So I've tried this tool called voice type, which is essentially a like AI dictation tool, but it's a lot better than the one that's built into your Mac or your Windows computer or whatever, in the sense that when you talk and it, and it transcribes your voice, it uses an, an AI to, to take out the context of what you're saying. So it means you can think out loud and be like, uh, oh, I didn't mean to say that, please uh, don't include that in, in your transcription. And like, you can basically just talk and then the AI in voice type will figure out, okay, what is it actually that should be transcribed and converted into text? So you save a lot of time compared to, to typing the whole prompt and it feels more natural. You actually feel like you're, you're talking with the, with the AI in, and, and you can see your vision for a design or an app or whatever just come to, to life in, in real time as you talk with the AI. Of course, you can use voice type for anything that requires text input, but for me at least, I just see this as a, as a really good use case because you, at least I get a lot of it like, a, I would call it prompting fatigue. I don't think that's an official word, but that's at least how I, how I feel after the like 10th iteration with the, with Lovable or something where it's still keeps making a, a mistake. So let me show you how, uh, how it works and how I optimize my uh, AI development routine using voice type. First of all, getting voice type is really easy. You just head to voicetype.com or use the affiliate link in the description below. And from there, you can simply press start free trial and you'll be able to, to try out voice type for, for free. And what you'll quickly notice after you install voice type is that it's incredibly minimalistic. And I really love that about it because it's, it's, it's so like unintrusive that it can possibly be. So it's just there ready for when you need it. There is a, like a dashboard. I'll show that later, but first of all, let's just take a look at the actual tool and you can activate that by using a, a shortcut you define during the, the setup process. So let me press that keyboard shortcut now. And you see it's so tiny, it just pops up in the in the bottom of your screen. And uh, yeah, and then you can even see sort of the, the wave patterns as you talk. And uh, that's the only thing you have to do, you just have to press in your, your, your predefined shortcut key, start talking and it will analyze. And then when you're done talking, you just let go of the key and it will basically um, transcribe uh, with the help of, of an AI model what you set and then uh, paste it into uh, to whatever application you're using. So let me try to open an application. I will do an example with v0.dev, which is Vercel's uh, this like code platform. Like it's basically uh, it is basically good at mocking up interfaces. So what I'm gonna do is I'll try to to mock up an interface using voice type. All right, so I'm now in v0.dev. So what I'll do now is I will activate voice type and then I'll basically uh, say a prompt uh, and I'll be as detailed as possible. To be honest, I'm not usually that detailed when I do prompting, but just for the sake of experiment, let's try to, to give it like a, a really substantial prompt that I just basically uh, like say out loud with uh, using my voice instead of typing it. All right, so let's try. I think I'll I'll create like a demo of a journaling app uh, just to to try something new, and um, yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, so I'll activate voice type. Please create a beautifully designed minimalistic journaling app that prioritizes simplicity, aesthetics, and ease of use. The app should feel modern, calming, and visually pleased. Ensure the design is responsive and looks exceptional across mobile devices and desktops. Adjusting layout elements appropriately. Include thoughtful micro-interactions such as subtle haptic feedback, gentle tab animation, and smooth scrolling. All right, that was quite a prompt. Let's see how it did. So it's currently um, 
transcribing. Okay, and we see the whole text here. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna go through it all, but it looks pretty uh, correct to me. And uh, yeah, let's try to just uh, submit this prompt and see what V0 will do. All right, that seems to be wrapping up. Okay, so here we have it. Um, got the date correct. We have new entry. We have a hamburger menu with the journal. See what happens. Yeah. We have the um, field we described for in inputting a new journal with the um, like mood indicators, date with um, a date selector. So yeah, I think it looks, I even have markup data. I think it looks pretty, pretty good um, for a first iteration. You can even see it in full screen. So um, okay, so let's uh, let's imagine that we actually we we want to just tweak the styling a bit. Like let's say we want the entire interface to be blue, um, like not just blue, but basically have like like blue tones um, to basically change sort of the color scheme. Okay, so now let's try to make our iteration using voice type as well. So we'll follow, like we'll keep uh, keep on with this sort of natural uh, language conversation we have with with the AI using voice type. So let's say we want to change the, the color theme. We want this blue, uh, purple, maybe blue, purple theme. And uh, let's try to just describe that in just using natural language. So I'll, I'll um, hold down the, the shortcut key to activate voice type and then I'll, I'll just try to uh, to to make the like to have the AI make the revision. I really like what you did for the first version, but but actually it could be really cool to change the color theme. So I imagine like the whole basically the whole app being blue, or different tones of blue. You can also use purple as a secondary color, so maybe do gradients from blue to purple, and also just try to give the whole design an overhaul. Like just try to make, just try to go crazy and be creative and, and make something that's really cool and, and unique, but in these blue purple tones. Okay, so it's really, it says I really like what you did for the first version, but blah, blah, blah. Change color theme, being blue, different tones of blue. So it seems correct. Uh, let's just try to um, to submit this. All right, let's see what we have. At least it's blue, that much I can tell. Um, let's try to... Uh, to maximize it, I mean, I don't know if I like the style, but it definitely uh, it definitely follows our prompt. So, um, so that's more of a a V zero dot def thing than uh, than voice type. Like uh, voice type definitely relayed our um, instructions. So um, it's blue. It has the um, in the purple gradient as well. Maybe it's not so bad. I mean. It's quite fun. There's a lot of animation going on, even subtle uh, sparkles. Find your inner peace through mindful journaling. Yeah. Um, I think this is really great. Like, I've, I actually like sort of the experience of just talking to the AI while you code is, I think it's a lot less frustrating than the typing because you end up typing the same thing over and over again in these tools because sometimes they just don't understand you or they keep messing something up but this way you can also sometimes just like just uh, let out your frustration it's just like uh, calmly explain how you actually want it and uh, you can even go in more detail than you probably would by by typing so you save time and you get less frustrated because it may be, it may feel a bit more natural to just uh, to just explain in words what you what you want
begin your journey. Okay, so this is the, okay, it has a few layout issues, but uh, but again, I would feel less frustrated just like pressing the shortcut and just type, uh, saying like, hey, uh, you don't really render these uh, icons correctly. I would feel a lot less, uh, a lot more inclined to do those small tweaks if I just had to to talk to the AI compared to uh, to doing a whole new written prompt. Okay, so now that we are done with our vibe coding session, let's try to uh, to review the performance a bit. So voice type actually has this really cool dashboard um, that you can open up, um, and uh, here you can see some some pretty interesting statistics. So uh, I've dictated two thousand three hundred and seventy five words, and that corresponds to a writing speed on average of five hundred and thirty two words per minute. And then it calculates how much time I've saved compared with if I had typed the same on my keyboard. And it uses sort of an, an average typing speed of, I think, 40 words per minute. So it compares that to to what, uh, like the speed up with, at which you've been dictating. You can see the transcription history um, in, uh, in this uh, view as well. So in my case, I've saved 2.38 hours. Um, in this uh, this session because I, I reset it uh, when I started today. Uh, so I've saved more than two hours on my vibe coding, not just what I showed in this video, but the different attempts I've made throughout uh, the day. And that corresponds if we you can put your, your hourly rate, like if you want to calculate that, it, in this case, it corresponds for a $50, hour, $50 per hour rate. It corresponds to uh, basically saving a hundred and almost 119 US dollars um, compared with the time spent if you were actually typing on your keyboard. There's also a dictionary so you can put in like new words and phrases for, uh, for voice, voice type to, for voice type to learn. And, um, and yeah, of course there's a settings pattern. You can launch it automatically at login, uh, choose which microphone to use also, which output language. So it supports a lot of different uh, languages as well. Um, which is really cool. They have the nice little sound effects when you activate voice type um, and so on. So, um, so yeah, overall really nice to have this sort of uh, statistics so you can see that it actually sometimes makes sense to speak rather than type. Prompting is of course just one way that voice type can optimize your workflow. So if you use it for any other purpose, please let me know in the comments down below for inspiration. Um, it can really speed up a lot of processes, especially, of course, if you do a lot of, of writing on a daily basis, it can really, it can really save you a lot of, of time. So, um, so yeah, check it out. Um, we have the affiliate link in the description down below and, uh, have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.